Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Okay, so let's get started. So the topic we're going to talk about today is how to deal with solicited calls and messages. And what I mean by solicited calls and messages is um, sometimes people call you about unsolicited offers and unsolicited products. They can message you um, the same stuff too. Um, you just have to be careful who you trust and who you look at and be sure to do your research. Um, to see what the company is, um, are they legit, or are they fake, or are they not real, are they really here to take your money and whatnot. So um, with the solicited uh, calls, um, let's say if you're an individual or a business owner, um, if you're a business owner trying to promote your business online or um, on Instagram, on Facebook, or on Craigslist, on the newspaper, in the mail, or something like that, and sometimes you get uh, got a number incoming phone call with an unknown number on it. It may be a customer, or it may be a person trying to sell you a product. Um, it can be a person with the IRS. It can be a uh, loan forgiveness, debt forgiveness, um, getting you to go back to school, and such as this. Let me tell you something about the IRS. The IRS never calls you they just sent you a notice through mail saying that you owe this much and you owe that much and as for the uh, loan forgiveness um if you realize uh that something is wrong or something is not right you should not answer the phone or you should hang up immediately most of the red flags is if you pick up the phone and it's the loan forgiveness debt forgiveness or when you to go back to school and it's a heavy foreign accent with broken English and uh, they're trying to sell you a product or sell you services such as they can uh, approve your loan forgiveness for $250 when they just taking your money or they can uh, erase your debt for like a thousand dollars and they really just taking your money and if all these people have heavy foreign accents and uh, they call you first and you never call them anyway um, same thing goes as people are looking for jobs people are, are promoting their business people are looking for work people are uh, going to school um, doing everyday lives if um, a known number calls you and if it's uh, one of these signs that I mentioned then you should hang up immediately because there are scammers out there that are trying to take your money and uh, same thing with uh, messages on Facebook. Like, if you're promoting a business or um, if you're doing everyday life, like talk to your friends, talk to your family. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to watch out for. Like, um, if you're promoting your business on Facebook and you get a message pop up on your phone and saying you have a message request. And if you open it up and you um, look at it and then you look at see who it is and then finally it's um, someone that's trying to sell you a solicited product or service or it's a fake profile trying to get you to go to their um, website that has news on it I mean if you notice these kinds of things where they try to sell you a product and they sell you a service just say no thank you and uh, you have to be uh, on the lookout and very cautious because you need to do your research first. Um, they tell you which, what company are they from, um, what uh, they do for a living, and uh, such as uh, businesses that try to promote your business, uh, multimedia services, and um, they're trying to sell you and offer a product and then um, when they do offer you a product, you may answer yes, you may answer no. Sometimes you just never know. Um, you have to do your research on what kind of company it is, what they do. Are they a good company? Or are they a bad company? Or are they just here to take your money? Um, you just never know unless you do your research. And same thing for um, calls from other companies too, like um, they want to promote your business and they want to uh, do a commercial for you and sometimes doing a commercial um, to put it on a uh, TV network can cost thousands or millions of dollars um, you know what I mean it's just like um, 
when you do a commercial, sometimes a person will call you and uh, offer you a commercial uh, promoting your business and they do it for $100 and you ask them to show the commercial what they've done so far, they declined or they just give them excuses saying uh, it'll take longer than that. Um, if it's true, then um, it's a red flag right there that they're scamming you. If they do take your money, another thing too, you can dispute it and um, cancel the transaction and get your money back that way. You can call the bank, you can call the finance company, tell them what the problem is, tell them I gave this person money and they never gave me a service and they can dispute it that way also. So that's all I have for today. Tune in next week for another newscast update. And until next time, I'm Jerome, peace.